Uh, say I won't. Why y'all scared to be different? Uh, say I won't. All right, here we're going to take a look at Caitlin Brown's uh, May 17th, 2015 uh, evaluation. Here we're going to see her running full speed, uh, followed by 50% speed or half speed. Finally, we're going to see her at 10% speed with a uh, breakdown. We're going to stop her right away and take a look. If you notice how right when she takes off, her arm goes across her chest. That's creating like an east-west motion with her body, and you're going to see later on how that kind of affects her body. Uh, you also see here she has a low knee drive. Um, she needs to drive that knee out a lot a lot higher and a lot further um, as well as the arms to getting that elbow connected to the body and bringing the hands up to the eye. So we're kind of just right off the bat not looking good as far as the form. Um, stopping her here and you'll notice again because of that arm and the way she's moving her shoulders are rocking side to side the, the left going in front of the right the right going in front of the left uh, and you'll see how it opens up her chest so it basically just gets her whole body out of alignment just right away um, as well as her knees you can see how they're kind of pointing towards the wall more than they are at the camera uh, so we just need to kind of straighten her out and just give her some fundamentals uh, as far as some basics to kind of work with to get her going so we can get her on the right track uh, another thing is you kind of see here how her head is looking there and she kind of braces her head and she needs to relax that a little bit more and make it a little bit smoother. We're going to run her down a little bit more and again uh, we're going to take a look at two things. Right here you'll see how she's striking on the heel of her foot. It's almost acting like a break. So we need to get her to, to flip it over, strike on the, on the ball of the foot and then drive the turf back. Another thing is you can see how her back leg kind of tucks behind her um, her lead leg, and we just need to kind of get the left leg to be in the left lane, the right leg to be in the right lane. So if you look at her, her path, she almost steps in the same line all the way instead of having two different lines with, with two different feet. So we got a lot to work with um, as far as getting her straightened out, but definitely something that we can do if we can continue to work with her. Here you'll see her vertical leap was uh, nine inches. Um, and then next, her standing broad jump was 3.8. Now, the reason we want to kind of keep an eye on these two things is because if you have an athlete that can jump high and jump far, um, they're what we consider an explosive athlete. So their first step, second, third, fourth step are going to be very quick. So these are kind of tangible scores that we have here that we can take a look at and then kind of come back and see where we're at. But the more we can get her to jump and really use her body, the more we're going to be able to get her to lunge forward when you know, she's to be a quicker athlete, which is something that she lacks. So here we're looking at her lateral speed here. She was able to cover 10 reps, uh, 5 yards a piece, and 30 seconds. We want that to be around 12 or 13 the next time we do it. So hopefully we can get her to pick up an additional, say, 10 or 15 yards on her uh, lateral speed, which will definitely help her on the field. Next, we're going to take a look at her athlete breakdown, her scores. And uh, here we are, push-ups, sit-ups, five and three. We're definitely pretty much on all these. We're, we're kind of under. Uh, we're, we're really below where we should be. So um, her plank time was 23 seconds. One leg squat, seven reps, which shows her strength and also her balance. Um, lateral speed, we just talked about. Her 10 and 20 yards, she had 2.7. We need to get that down to like low twos right away and really want to get it down eventually into the, into the high ones. And then that 20 yard time needs to be about 3.5 or 3.6, somewhere in there. So we need to drop a second off her 20 yard time. To make this uh, make this work. So those are her scores, her uh, flexibility test. We want to get her a little bit more flexibility as well. So we got a lot to work on. We just need to get her in a program where we can work with her consistently, and I think you'll see results uh, right away.